Hey guys, it's Let the Beer Up in 1996 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get unlimited mortars on Call of Duty Black Ops on PlayStation 3. So what you're going to need is a USB, and obviously a PlayStation 3, and a computer. Um, first of all, you're going to have to put your USB into the PlayStation 3, and copy your Black Ops save data onto the USB. That's simple, if you don't know how to do that, just message me and I'll give you a tutorial um, so after you're done copying your saved data onto the USB plug your USB into the computer and then you got to download a thing called Red Eye X32 Black Ops um, this is the Black Ops game saved data this is going to be in the description and as well as the codes so don't worry about that um, once that comes up after you've plugged in your USB, make sure your USB is in. When you open this, just go to open folder, find your USB, go to computer, find your USB, and you want to click on bless auto. If that's not in there, that means you haven't done the save data thing right, but that should be in there if you've done it correctly. So, bless auto, OK. Hopefully, it loads successfully. Um, if it doesn't, just um, delete the saved data off your USB and then re-download it onto USB and if it still doesn't work delete your Black Ops saved data off the PS3 go onto Black Ops go to a game of Zombies Solo on Kino as soon as you can end the match just end it and then go to multiplayer start a private match change your sensitivity and then as soon as you can quit the game just quit the game and then copy that new save data onto your USB and it will work then. Okay, so next you go to game save editing. Now you got these two grados here. Uh, grado multiplier, grado single player and the middle one. Um, you got a grado MP for this. You can see in there I've already got the codes but yours won't look like this. Um, so there they are down there. The mort mortar cannon shell count and all that so what you're going to do is I've also got the force host codes in there so when you have all your codes in there yours will be different to mine you just select all control A to delete now you've got to go to notepad so get the codes out of the description open up notepad paste the codes into notepad and just select them all. This is what they should look like. Select them all. Copy. And then Control B. And I'll just paste in there like that. So after you've done that, you just go to File. And then you go to Save Asset. And then Save All. I'm not going to do it because I've already got the codes edited to my liking. Um, you can. I think this comes with unlimited dogs as well I'm not sure I personally took out this I took out the unlimited dogs for another hack but I haven't tried I didn't try it when I had these codes in still so um, yeah if someone could message me back telling me if it comes with unlimited attack dogs that'd be great but I know it definitely comes with unlimited mortars and you can see there mortar cannon shell count so yeah you're done basically all you got to do is unplug a USB out of the computer um, plug it back into the PS3 make sure you plug it into your right slot you've got two slots plug it into your right one so it's the one closest to the little tin can thing that flashes when the PlayStation 3 is on so just remember that um, and after you start your PS3 up with your USB in the right slot you just simply put the save data off the USB onto call into the save data utility and then load up black ops and go to either a private match or combat training that works in any game mode guys um, so yeah any game mode and you should have unlimited mortars so thanks for watching and I hope this helps